Okay, guys, I want to show you all these items that I got from the Pier 1 dumpster. And then I have to show you all something that really had me kind of concerned. So the first thing I want to start off with, um, I found this sunflower that was in the bottom of a bag. And also these two decorative um, pieces, I guess, for fall time. This one doesn't have its tag anymore on there, but this one does. And so you can see that it was $7.99 from Pier 1. So this is more like a, a fall um, decor kind of thing that they, uh, I guess, was throwing out the fall stuff. Even though it's going to be fall again. Maybe this is stuff that is old. But the thing that concerned me um, was this item here. Yeah, that just... I would be concerned about the employees that I'm hiring if they're doing this kind of stuff. This is a raccoon. Can you tell by the, the tail right here? It's a raccoon. But look what is around the raccoon's neck. A noose. What kind of crap is that? That is concerning. That makes me kind of want to talk to someone in higher up in the pier one um department not at that particular store but maybe the gm or something because i think that's going overboard and i think that whoever did this have a serious issue going on first they defaced the raccoon's face okay then they sh shredded the clothes but, you know, to top it off with a noose around the raccoon's neck, you know, I could take that personally and be like, okay, what are they trying to say? Except for as many um, races and stuff that come there to dumpster dive. So I wouldn't think it's a particular thing towards me. But I'm just concerned. This person have a sick something going on with them and they need prayer and i'm just gonna pray that that employee um be released or something gets done about them because that kind of if you ever watched anything about uh psycho killers or uh, serial killer kind of things they start out with um abusing animals abusing animals killing them and this is that kind of concern that I have about the way, I mean, his feet are ripped off. The tail is torn up. But to top it off with a noose and shredding the clothes and then even putting a marker in between like it's blood. I'm concerned. I'm really concerned on the people that this Pier 1 hires. Anyway, I'm not going to talk any more about that. I'm going to talk about these other things, but this really did alarm me. This is not like in the past where I've seen on Dumpster Dime where they put a note, stay out of the trash, or, you know, something ugly. But this is beyond. This is bad. Okay, so I'm going to show you the other items that I got from the Dollar General. Okay, so guys, this is the items that I got from the Dollar General. Um, I went by there and there was a lot of trash, definitely. But um, I seen this bag and it had a boot sticking out. And I'm thinking, okay. So somebody personally dumped there. But I benefit from their personal dumping also. So um, this um, boot here. Let's see what size this is. Because my daughter was like, oh, I want them. Um, a seven and a half. So, this is a seven and a half boot. And the other one is in here. So, those are some nice, nice boots for winter time coming. So, then I seen this notebook. I guess a lot of people are getting rid of, I guess, last year's notebook things because it's a new year coming. I don't know. Um, but this is a five-star five uh, notebook. And as you can see, it does have pencils and stuff in here. Um, 
These are great for coupon binders, so that's why I got excited about. Um, yeah, you can see it's some supplies in there. It's going to need to be cleaned out, but it's in really good condition. Um, I guess this was somebody in, let's see, fifth grade. Yeah, <laughs> they were in fifth grade. So they dumped that. I guess they're going to get a new one for this coming uh, school year. So then we have a bunny Easter basket. Oh, and there's some ears inside also. So they're getting rid of their Easter stuff. And I don't know what all is in this bag because I was like, I just seen the boot. <laughs> so I don't know what all is in here, but oh my goodness, guys, look. You see, you see that? Okay, we're going to get to that. Uh, okay, these are size five. They don't have a brand on them. I don't know. So here's the other one of it. It just need to be um, bleached probably and washed up. I can be able to donate these. Now let's get to these Michael Kors slippers. What? Let me see what size these are. Oh, they're kind of looking rough on the bottom. But look at that. What? They threw Michael Kors? Let me see. Size... Um, it's not saying the size of them. I'm sure my daughter will be trying to stick her foot in there anyway. <laughs> and she loves the color pink, so that just might work out fine. But yeah, some Michael Kors shoes they threw away. I mean, and they seem to be good condition. They kind of wore on the bottom, but on the top, they are in really good condition. And here is some kind of... Oh, they're uh, American Eagle, size 4. Those are cute. My kids don't wear that size, so I'm going to have to donate that. And, wow, look at these. These were size 5. I don't know what kind of shoes these are either. I probably should know, but I don't uh nope i don't know those are size five that don't that won't fit them either so yeah I'll definitely will be i'll clean them up and then i'll donate them and these are cute also these are candies seen them on here these are some candies let me see, size four. Oh, but I can donate them. There's the other one. Very nice. And these look like they had better days. And they look like they tried to tape them up. So they're probably going to go to the trash. They were Paris, Paris blues. But, yeah, they they didn't have it. There's the other one. What else is in here? I think it's just trash. A little brush. And, yeah, that's pretty much just junk, the rest of it. But, that's pretty good with, with the shoes. And um, especially those Michael Kors shoes, sandals. And then this, of course, I can be able to use that when I do my couponing class. And those boots, my daughter will love. Those boots, they might be a little big on her, but she'll make it work. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you this quick haul um, from the Dollar General dumpster, which is somebody's personal dumping. And then, of course, the stuff from um, Pier 1, which, you know, y'all just keep that employee in prayers because that has to be a really sick individual to go that far on a little styrofoam raccoon. So, 
Anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, click a like for me, and I'll see you on the next dive.